Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be uh, rebuilding one of the mirror assemblies for the uh, K40 or eBay laser cutter uh, setup. Now, one of the things I uh, might have known, uh, I received it shipped with a broken thumb screw on here, which were really made for a pain in culminating the optics. So, uh, tried reaching out to the seller, and I mean, that was a, a brutal effort. So I went to Light Objects and I bought um, sort of a semi-replacement. Now this is for a little bit different version. If you notice this one's got the stamped sheet metal um, where this one mounts to the, the, the base. But I'm hoping the screws and everything work uh, for uh, the new one. Also, well, this one actually came with a missing pin. So you see these pins here where they're using screws. I'm going to see if I can't clean this up a little bit um, to and make it a little bit more functional and just kind of uh, clean up the whole assembly a little bit and I replace the screws because I'm going to just kind of replace them all and then try to clean these this part up. So anyways I wanted to show these pieces uh, and again this comes for about 10 bucks no mirror in it because um, I got the mirror here um, so I want to um, again um, replace these so what I'm going to do is uh, go off camera for a little bit uh, take these apart, and um, then when I get them apart, uh, you know, instead of, you know, making your way through that little laborious piece of unscrewing all this, I get it all apart, and then I'll come back and show you how uh, we're going to reassemble them and clean these up. Now, one of the things, notice that I index this to where I took it off on the um, actual chassis. Now, this is an important piece because you know, so it gets back at least semi-close to where it was. Now, we're going to have to culminate all these, but I know when I put this back in this general uh, position that, again, it's going to be roughly aligned with the incoming mirror from this way. And I would also suggest measuring the uh, distance here uh, so you kind of get it roughed in back into the same spot because it is a beer. And then I'm going to do a whole video on aligning the mirrors because I've got a new way to, to do that. So anyway, it's going to go off camera for a second and then be back and uh, show you how to... Well, welcome back. Um, yep, camera's running. Uh, so we've uh, rebuilt this, so I want to kind of take everyone through what we did here. So uh, uh, the screws thankfully did work. I kind of figured they would. So here's the ones that I took out. I wanted all of them to be equal in the broken one. Uh, one of the things also, one of the springs was broken in there, so I reused one of the springs thankfully um, in here. So I've got an extra spring left, so that's good. And I've got these parts. Um, I think I have a big sale on eBay, all the extra parts, you know, the extra head, the mirrors. Um, but uh, so anyways, this, this really looks, uh, came together good. So I used the pins on the front side of this to kind of clean this up. So uh, instead of these uh, screws, uh, but since I only had two pins, um, what I did was I cut the heads off of the other one so that it's, it's sat flush rather than cockeyed in the back and I think that was one of the reasons for the broken spring is the way it was pulling so um, you know that's worked and actually this this actually I think works a little bit better than these because these kept sliding out but with the um, sorry about bumping that the uh, teeth here it catches so anyways we're gonna go reassemble this inside the um, uh, laser cutter so again wanted to do a quick video on this about uh, rebuilding this mirror in case you got to rebuild um, your mirror for this I'm going to eventually redo the um, other mirror too that's next to the laser too, but uh, that one's not that big of an issue right now. So anyways, uh, please hit uh, click like below. It helps us produce more of these videos. Free doesn't cost anything and really helps us out, so I appreciate it in advance. Um, also subscribe to the channel. A lot more coming on this. I plan on doing a whole lot on, on this laser cutter to really... Um, kind of get it in shape as mentioned in the prior video we're going to be doing a section on putting up also a laser aimer on there a new bed uh, quite a bit of stuff coming uh, in the very near future on this so again subscribe and you'll get notified when it all comes out cheers